Coming right up, Straight Talk with Art Levine. Our guest tonight, Larry Curtis, conductor of the Long Beach Municipal Band, and direct from the 16th century and the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, our oldest guest, Sir Francis Drake, all as we continue to celebrate our 15th anniversary season. Opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications nor its sponsors. We recognize our obligation to present opposing points of view by responsible spokespersons. For information, please contact the director of program. She stands in the face of evil and will not lose hope or faith. America, the land of freedom, is still the home of the brave. So raise the banner, call the glory, let us join our fellow man. Great Talk is brought to you in part by Southern California Edison. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. The Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. And Long Beach Magazine. Coastal living, city style. <laughs> Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host, Art Levine. Good evening and welcome to Straight Talk. We have a great show for you tonight. Our first guest is Larry Curtis, conductor of the wonderful Long Beach Municipal Band. Larry, welcome to Straight Talk. Thank you. You're celebrating your 100th anniversary season and uh, the band is really part of the fabric of this community. We'd like to think so. We've enjoyed every minute of the time I've had with the band. I haven't been here 100 years yet, you understand. Our later guest, Sir Francis, is 400 years old, but uh, we'll leave that for then. But, uh, <laughs> but the band is wonderful, and you have the summer concert series each year. And again, uh, notwithstanding the budget cuts, uh, the, the band is here, alive and well. And uh, uh, tell us what it's like in front of thousands of people conducting the band. Well, this is an unusual situation because our audience is actually are in love with the band. It's, it's their hometown band. It belongs to them. And uh, so when they come as an audience, they, uh, they have a different perspective than what you would normally have at a, at a commercial audience. And uh, it's, a fact, it's a family event yeah. and, and many generations of families. We have we, enjoyed it together. Oh, yes. And Parents they, and, bring the kids and the kids come. And, oh, yeah. And they, and they talk to me about their grandparents bringing them many years ago. So it's, wow. it's been around that with that 100 year tradition makes our audiences something special. Well, if you haven't been to one of these concerts, make it a point this summer to go to one of the venues. We'll post the information at the end of the segment, but it runs from June 24th to August 22nd, different venues around town, Marine Stadium, El Dorado Park. And let's take a, a look at a few of the photos from last summer's concert, Larry. This one is where? That's in uh, Marine Stadium. No, that's actually in El Dorado Park, El Dorado Park. And that's Renee Souza, the great grandniece of John Philip Souza, singing with the band. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and here's another shot. That is Marine Stadium, where uh, we usually play there on Thursday evenings, uh, crowds up to 3,000 people. At Marine Stadium. At Marine Stadium. And Lowell. everyone truly loves the band. They picnic, bring out food, maybe something to drink, and uh, uh, you can't beat this as a summer experience. No, and they've staked out their territory. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the blankets are down, the chairs are out, and... Uh, 
those of them that want to set up close to the band at least. And now you're just not a pretty face. You are a very skilled musician. You were 25 years as conductor of bands at Cal State Long Beach. Your wind symphony uh, music is, is well recognized throughout the country. Uh, uh, and yet you love, you just love band music. I've always been a band admirer. I, I, was, I started out as a drummer uh, in Texas and um, going to school like every other young bandsman does. And I've conducted orchestras. I played violin during the college and later years, but uh, I, there's something about the spirit of a band. It plays the people's music. Yeah. And you've brought wind instruments increasingly into focus as part of this band. I have. Uh, the instrumentation of this particular band has pretty well been set for probably 80 of those years. It started off a little bit smaller, mostly brass instruments, but it's been setting out about 40 musicians, all professional players. Wow. And this band, folks, is the oldest municipally funded band in the United States. And there are not a whole lot of cities that, that have a band, and, and we are the oldest of that category. When this band started, almost every small community had some sort of a band, but Long Beach wanted to be special. Uh, John Philip Sousa's band had toured out here. Everyone had gone to hear it. And of course, live music was about the only music you heard of any kind of quality. And so, That's right. uh, this is pre-TV, pre-records, I guess, 100 yes. years ago. If you wanted to hear music, you had to have a piano in your home or go hear a band. That's right. And the, the city fathers decided that they would hire musicians, professional musicians from the very beginning, and they wanted to have the best band in the United States. The best band in the land, as <laughs> one of the lyrics goes. That's right. That's right. Well, that kind of reflects our Midwestern roots, I think, in this wholesome value structure. And uh, uh, we're so happy to have the band. And uh, as I said, if you haven't yet heard the band, and there may be a few that haven't, make it a point this summer uh, to go to one of the concerts. There's Tuesday nights, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, starting on June 24th at different venues around town. We'll put the phone number up. And we have a clip from last summer's concert, we, which we want you to see as we go out to commercial break. So let's take a look at the Long Beach Municipal Band playing their best. <laughs> 